you doing? I'm uh, Chris Roy, bassist here in Los Angeles at the lovely Baked Potato in uh, North Hollywood. And I'm going to talk to you guys today about some of the exotic products that I use, including the exotic XB bass, the bass RC booster, the bass BB preamp, and I'm using the X blender with the Robotalk to do some pretty cool things. And uh, the first thing is XB, the bass XB. Uh, I've had this particular bass for about 10 years now. It's not a, this is reality video. You can see it's beat up and got many miles on it. They didn't just plop this in my hands. It's my main fretless. I've been using it for about 10 years. Uh, six string, active, ebony fingerboard, really cool bridge. It's a big solid chunk of ebony with, uh, I believe it's an aluminum bar. Real straightforward. It just gets the sound straight to the body. Uh, Kent Armstrong pickups with the exotic preamp, which is basically volume, a master tone, a master pan, and then you've got treble, mid, and bass. Uh, you can pretty much get any sound you want out of this thing. It's great. Really good. Um, brass nut on the back. You've got uh, control over the mid-range right here. So you can actually adjust what the mid-range frequency is on the, the front mid-range knob. And a master, little master volume here. So you can kind of basically fine tune it to match other bases if you're not using just exotic bases. And uh, again, it's a really warm, warm, woody sounding bass. For an active bass, it actually found, sounds really natural, I think, you know. Real just smooth, woody, warm, you know. It's not a real bitey, but you can kind of, you can definitely get that. And uh, everything in between, basically. These two guys here on the older basses, which is what I'm playing, it takes each pickup from series to parallel, so you can just kind of pan it to the front pickup. And then on the back pickup, same thing. Real fat, low B string on this, too. And this is a 30 four inch scale and it's actually got an amazing low B string. You know, a lot of guys are, are using the 35s now but this thing just as beefy, just as deep as any 35 that I've ever played and it's great. Cuts through. Um, yeah, so that's the that's the XB bass, dust and all. <laughs> 